Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We're opening up a box of 2020 Topps Ginter X. This is a Topps exclusive off their website. These ran about 100 bucks plus, I think there's shipping on top of it. I can't remember exactly, but uh, now they've gone up quite a bit. Secondary market, I think, is somewhere over the 150 mark for these boxes. But you do get one autograph included in these, and then a numbered parallel, correct? Yes, you do. So you get, uh, there's minis in here. There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, 350 card checklist plus some SPs. So. It's a different checklist than the regular Ginter. Yes. Um, a lot of autographs. 102 autographs, but they only make 50 of each. Um, then there's numbered parallels below 50. So uh, pretty short print. You can hit just monster autographs out of here. So yes, yeah, so this was. Um, I don't even think it was a raffle. It was just to buy it now on the site. Thing. Yep, and I think they had a uh, you know the exclusive for the Montgomery Club folks. But anyway, they're just the black Ginter cards, just like they have been every year. Um, this product, if you don't know, has been coming out for a while. Yeah, uh, at least like four years. Yeah, the last few that. years for sure, and definitely been one that's been sought after by Ginter collectors and the fact that you do get a guaranteed autograph is pretty cool because in a hobby box you don't have that guarantee. There's a Clemente Mini. Bryce Harper. The cards do look really yeah, cool. Yeah, cards though, look really nice. Like even the um, that one there, of what's his the name games. from? Yeah, Chip. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you, you want to see here are the odds pretty if you want to buy some a product and have a really good shot at pulling a one of one card this is one of the ones to do that in um, yeah the one of ones are like one in every 164 packs I think so they're not that difficult to pull comparatively to other products, other products yep Tim Raines. Tim Raines and a Vogelbach and the, all the autographs are framed autos, I believe. Yeah, they are. And LASIK. So they don't have, like, the animal cards and all the other... I, they don't have, uh, like, the fun... It's not as inserts, big of a checklist. Right. No, it's just the base and then the, the minis, so... Marte, a little bit more baseball-centered than yep. regular Ginter. There are, obviously, some of the other uh, weird things as well. Ozuna mini. I, had, had a monster year. I'm not exactly sure. I think there might be SPs as well. With yeah, the there are. Cards. So 300 to or or one to 300, then uh, 301 to 350 that is a there, Tim Raines. Yep, yep, is a SP. So just quick scan through it. All right. Speaking of scanning through cards, when does Heritage High Number come out? Well, I think December. Really? Yeah. Dang. It was pushed way back. I that mean, it's so back. far back. I mean, that's a product that comes out, what, August usually, I think? August or September. Yeah. At the latest. At the latest, yep. Yeah. I mean, at this point, every year we'd normally be looking for an uh, update to be coming out. There's a Right, yeah, meeting. an update's coming out, I think... Two weeks, I believe. Yeah. Two weeks, and I mean, that's going to be pretty sought after, I would imagine, and probably harder to get than ever before. Yes. Because <laughs> people are just going to wipe off the, out the shelves like they've done with everything else. Tommy Listella, Seaver, and Kendrick. Now, these cards do sell pretty well, too, um, if you get a good name that Kendrick is an SP. Oh, yeah, because mind. there's no, not. because there's not that many produced, and some of the people that buy them just simply collect the yeah you know, exactly all of them keep them. Yep. and it's all pretty short printed. Yes, um, the base cards don't sell for a ton. Like if you get a good rookie, it's not going to be a huge card. But Buster Posey, you get eighteen packs in here. And the weird Six thing is, is we looked at the box. It doesn't say anything about Ginter X on the box that we could see. No, it doesn't, which is kind of funny. That's kind different. of weird. Obviously, the box is a lot different than uh, the regular it's probably hobby, but, why they do that. Yeah. It's just because Hank Aaron. I'm guessing the Hank Aaron's a short print, but I don't know. I, I'm going to look through at the end just because it's too too difficult to look through during. The Reggie pleasure. Jackson, that's pretty cool. I, love I like that the black cards are cool. Yeah, they are. They're really sharp. They, they, 
Definitely a really nice looking product for sure. Yeah, obviously not going to be a product that you're necessarily going to want to send a bunch off to PSA with. Um, yeah, I would imagine that would be pretty uh, difficult. Pretty tough, yeah. Polanco. You know, there's not a lot of uh, parallels obviously in here and stuff, so it could be rather, you know, boring if you're looking for a bunch of different stuff, but we do have a is that a silver? What is that? Back of a card? One of these. Oh, one of those. I was like, what Crack is that? the Oops. code. There goes the mini. Yeah, I was like, what is that thing? I thought it was going to be like some kind of base parallel that I didn't know about. Nintendo and Kepler. Because aren't the silvers one of ones? Yeah. I think so. The minis, but I don't know. Yeah. No, glossies are one of oh, ones. Oh, glossy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so the autograph should be over here. Yeah, should well, you'd hope so. <laughs> should be, better be. How about that? All right, let's see if I can not knock over the camera. Um, there's a Whitey Ford. Didn't he pass away this year? I believe he did. I do not know. Martinez, Keyboom, Torres, and Just throw on the mini. Yeah. Huh? Well, you got to be careful because one of those is going to be numbered. So yeah, Yelich. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the tricky things about opening up Ginter, even just the regular version, is the minis like to fall out. Oh, I think there's something in here. Yep. All right, Cal Tucker, Alonzo, Wheeler, that guy. And there's Abreu and Marte. We use Marte to show us who this is. I think this is going to be our autograph. Sweet frame. Looks yeah, cool. it is cool looking. Whoa. Whoa. Pepe. To 10. To 10. Wow. It's cool. So, yeah, right there you can see the numbering, I think. I love the black frame. That's awesome. Yeah, right? so is this some kind of a... It's not going to say. I'll look, her, I'll look her up. A fan? Oh, Baseball Pioneer. Sweet. Cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty Obviously not a, uh, you know, superstar baseball player, but somebody who is important to baseball. So not, not real familiar with her. Um but that is a beautiful looking card wow yeah definitely not a massive card she doesn't really sell that well but yeah when pretty it, i don't know anything about her i'd be curious to learn more about her tell us in the comments i'm sure somebody's going to know something. there's a tatis a larkin williams this is our first time ever opening up ginter x by the way um i think the last few years we just missed out on it we didn't we didn't know it was out or it, yeah. we just yeah i don't know what happened but through the first few years we didn't we didn't know anything about the product really and so now as we've seen other people open it as like yeah we got to get try to get our hands on get some get in on this stuff. oh yeah and thanks to um jake from at great lakes breaks he's the one who told us about it um that it was coming out or that was out and i think i jumped on the website as soon as he told me and he said yeah they just re started uh opening it up uh, for sale and i got on there bought a box and i'm pretty sure shortly after that it it was gone yeah it, um, went, it went really quick which isn't surprising right which is not surprising in today's age especially all right there's like ken griffey brantley piazza whip merrifield Ersted, and castillo kane and sano all right, we'll look at some of these backs, see if we have any other short prints in there. Is that just going to do? Uh, there we have. Sometimes you, the mini parallels are like Clemens. no numbers and stuff too, so they're not all like blatantly obvious. Yeah, that is very true. And so if we miss something that you can tell even just from the front, if there's something that we don't know about, let us know. Tori, there's a Mike Trout, nice looking card. 
and this guy right here. Whoa. Pretty cool. He, the owner of 12 tattoos and body piercings. All right. Interesting. So tomorrow, well, actually, when you'll see this video will be tomorrow um, from our standpoint, which today. would be today, uh, is the game number six of the World Series. So pretty excited about that. Thomas Kainer and Tom Glavin. So we're still looking for our mini. Yeah. It's coming in these last two packs here. So, yeah. Too bad we didn't get a... I was really hoping to get a baseball player. But, hey, you know, that's the thing when you open up Ginter. You don't know what you're going to get. But still cool. It's, it's number to 10. It's yeah. a beautiful looking card. Um, Rodriguez. And here it is. Dave Winfield. What the heck? Okay. The card's gone. Dave Winfield, um, who ate the card? What kind of mouse did? It's a one of one. It's a one of one. A one. <laughs> a half of a one. Ah! one. <laughs> All right, it's a di so it's a silver. Uh, it is the one of one, like I was saying, but um, yeah. Huh. Someone okay. took a chunk out of it. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. I before. just like it, like it didn't even fall or anything. This is just no. how it well, was. Well, you know, sometimes you have like ding corners and right. stuff. Whatever. You usually aren't missing half of the card. A one on one. It looks like the blade just cut it. All right, so we're back. Sorry, our battery died. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll have to see what Tops is gonna do about that. Can't really replace a one on one, right? I'm sure they can. I mean, yeah, they do. I've seen it. Happen. All right, so let's get into this last pack. That yeah, very interesting. Well, now let's spend an hour and a half on the phone with tops. Their customer service was good the last time I called them. It took like 10 yeah, minutes. it yeah we I've had good success, but recently I've heard only horror stories. So I'm hoping it's good. Thurman Munson, Cena, and. Bauer, did I miss a mini? Yeah, I'm sure you did. There's always a mini in there somewhere. No, no mini. What about that? Is there a mini in the pack? Anyways, right. interesting. All right, well, that was a weird ending. That was a weird ending. Um, yeah, so there you go. A Overall, it was actually a good box besides <laughs> only getting half of a one of one. I mean, of we, I mean, can't really complain. We get a one of one and we get a auto number to ten. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways, just we'll stay tuned uh, for what we hear back from Tops. Contact them and see what they say. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this break. We'll be doing a lot more baseball this week. We have rookie card explosion, jam packs, a uh, bunch of other stuff that we're gonna do. That so stuff. stay tuned for that. Uh, and in the meantime, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We'll be doing a fifteen thousand subscriber giveaway soon on our way to 20 at least we hope we are um and uh yeah so please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more details on that 15,000 subscriber giveaway all right thanks for watching guys take care have fun collecting we'll see you in the next break